Hello. The purpose of this presentation is to provide you with some important information and guidance about a very large project for this course that asks you to tell a story in the form of a research paper. And the story that you're going to tell is a story about how a specific educational technology variable is having an impact in the field of education. And so this project that you have to do, which again is much larger than most of the projects in the course, um, addresses um, the role that educational technology has played in having an impact on in education in some way. Now, the first part of this project involves you examining a very important uh, publication. And this is a publication uh, created by the New Media Consortium, and it's called the Horizon Report. And the Horizon Report is, or has been a publication for over 10 years, uh, developed by a bunch of very bright people who constitute the New Media Consortium. And every year they write a report that reflects on some of the important technologies that have had or will have an impact in the field of education, both short-term and long-term. And the report that I'm gonna have you evaluate at the beginning of this project is the K-12 edition of the report. And this is a 2015 report that you're gonna be reading. And as I mentioned, this here with what are called enabling technologies. And again, um, if you're, if you're um, a student or a, or, or a learner who has investigated um, meeting individual needs or special needs or special education needs, some of these technologies might be worth, you might be really interested in investigating and determining what impact they might have, again, on meeting individual needs. And another important variable that you might want to investigate is how the technologies address how teachers do their jobs in general. It might not be a technology that impacts um, learning or instructional variables directly, but it might be a variable that might impact how teachers choose to do their jobs and how they actually do their jobs. So that is a very important variable that you might want to investigate. And in this research project that you're gonna do, you can choose any or all of these variables to investigate the impact that your chosen technology might have an influence or have an effect on. Now, it's very important to note that you have been provided with a very detailed analytic rubric that is used to guide both the structure of the project as well as how it's going to be evaluated. And so I wanted to spend a few moments talking about the structure of this analytic rubric and why it's an important um, learning scaffold for you as you figure out what's expected of you in this project. The very first section of the rubric addresses your title page. And I do want you to note that you are expected to use APA formatting at, in the areas that I've identified to develop your particular um, story or your research paper. So I do want you to have a title page and it does have to, the title of your project does need to clearly communicate the technology that you have reviewed. You need to have, include a running head and you need to include your name and the course needs to be included on the title page. And you'll notice that the rubric also provides some information about the number of points overall that each of these sections are worth when I'm evaluating it. So keep that in mind as you develop your story. You do need to include an introduction in your research paper and I list out all of the important characteristics that need to be included in your introduction. And I definitely want to draw attention to the very first uh, criterion, which is that you need to provide a compelling reason for reading the paper. Um, why is it important? Why did you, did you choose that variable? And why should anybody be interested in learning anything about it? So make sure that you 
that you review all of the characteristics of the introduction that need to be included um, in the first part of your paper. Of course, the body of your paper is going to be the majority of what you're going to be reporting on. So you're going to be doing some research on your identified technology and the impact that it has had uh, in the teaching and learning enterprise. And so I include as part of a description of what should be in the body um, some very specific variables that you need to go over and make sure that you include these. Um, specifically in the body of your paper, you need, you need to address how your technology that you identified does affect one or more of the variables that I described earlier, though you don't need to limit yourself to this. If you find a very important study that communicates an impact that your technology has had um, in, in teaching that is outside of this list, that's certainly appropriate. For example, you might, find, you, you might have identified a specific uh, technology that had an impact, a financial impact on a school, a classroom, or a district that you would want to, to report. So um, it's important to understand that I identify some distinct variables that you might want to address, but you're not limited to these variables. Again, I also include some very specific elements that need to be part of the conclusion of your paper. And I say conclusions because um, it isn't just one thing that you're going to be summarizing or communicating to, to the reader. So please note in the assessment rubric that you have some very specific um, characteristics of a conclusion that need to be included at the end of your paper. And speaking of the end of your paper, you do need to have a reference section. You need to include at least eight references to good research papers. And I include, again, some details about how these references need to be included. And then I also list out in the rubric some formatting issues associated with your overall paper. And of course, all spelling, grammar, and mechanics should be appropriate for graduate level work. And you're just gonna have to sort of, um, you know, go with some of the feedback that I've included up to this point in the class to identify what is meant by that, as well as other courses you may have had at the graduate level. But I also want you to know that I do list the specific APA formatting rules that I am gonna be looking for. And this is not all APA formatting. This is just the kind of formatting that I want to see in your paper. So these formatting rules include a title page, and I've already discussed in the rubric what that needs to be, including a running head. You do need to include page numbers. You do not need an abstract for this paper. That's not appropriate for, for, for this kind of paper. Um, this is a shorter research paper that's a literature review. You do need to include section titles. And the section titles need to have, the introduction needs to be a section title. You need to have some organizing body section titles that are appropriate for whatever it is you're gonna be reporting on. You should include the word conclusions or conclusion as a section title as well as references. You also need to space your sentences at one and a half um, and include proper citations as well as properly formatted references throughout the whole paper. And if you need help with that, I include some links on the project page as well as the library and reference pages for this course on properly formatting specific aspects of research papers using the APA conventions.